Hi everyone. Today I want to do a quick demonstration of how to do isochrone fitting using the Glue software package. So I've gone on to eClass and I've downloaded the Open Cluster Gaia data folder. And let me show you here is a blank Glue session. And I downloaded all of these files in a single folder. There's a download button down at the bottom of eClass that grabs the whole folder. And he gets us all of these CSV files. And I'm going to select the Hyades uh, as an example uh, for your homework. You will have to do the same exercise. Pick something else, um, you know, Blanco 1, IC2391. Just let your spirit take you. Uh, but uh, I'm going to do the Hyades. So drop that on in. And I have some Hyades data which I can pop in here as per my usual and make a Hertzsprung Russell diagram. At this point, I am good at that. I am adequate at that. And I'll switch things. And I have a beautiful Hertzsprung Russell diagram of the Hyades cluster. Uh, looks like we've got some main sequence stars, a few things uh, down here in the white dwarf corner, and uh, some giants. And what I want to do is determine the age and the metallicity of this cluster using a set of isochrones. So all of the things in the Hyades have formed uh, together. And I, so I have downloaded a set of isochrones from uh, the people who do the MIST models, which is a um, group at Harvard that does good models of stellar evolution and clusters. And these are all set up as isochrone files, something like this. And they're in the form isochrone. FEH00, that's the iron on hydrogen in a log, uh, log zero, that means solar Fe on H, uh, and then log T is 6.0, that would be 6 million year old cluster. Uh, down here, I could have Fe on H M0.5, that would be half a dex or half an order of magnitude below solar, so something that's a third solar in abundance of excuse me, iron, and then the P 0.5 is plus 0.5 uh, dex. And so this is plus 0.5 dex uh, in um, metallicity and a uh, 10 to the 9 or uh, 1 giga year population. So what I need to do is I need to load in one of these isochrones. And I'm going to guess that this is, I'm going to pick about 300 million years. Um, there are uh, mostly motivated by the fact that there are white dwarfs down here, and so we have to have stars that have formed uh, a substantial number of white dwarfs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this uh, little isochrome and drop it into glue, and that pops it up here. Now if we go into the isochrome and we make a plot of it, and I make a 2D scatter plot, you'll see that I have a bunch of different uh, points. So I have um, a Gaia BPRP and I have a Gaia G DR2 Rev, which means Gaia G band, absolute magnitude, data release to revised. And then I can flip that. And then this is the same set of units as this, but they have different names. So in glue, if I want to plot them on each other, what I have to do is create the correspondence between the Gaia data uh, for the cluster and the isochrone data, which is just a tabulated value. So the way I do that is close the window, and I'm going to go up to the link data button right here, click it, and that's going to give me my link editor. And what I'll do with my link editor is I'm going to say the BPRP variable in the observed data is the Gaia GPRP in the isochrome data. Plot that. MG, I'm going to make uh, Gaia DR2 uh, revised and glue those. And now uh, these things uh, all work well together. So we can say, okay, uh, now these plots can share some axes. So I just drop it in and it says, I know the axes you care about. I'm going to pop that in there. In fact, I'm going to goose up the Y axis so we can see the full glory of the isochrone. Red giant branch, long hook over AGB phase, white dwarf cooling sequence down to the white dwarfs. So this looks looking good here. Um, I can't see much in my life. 
So what I'm going to do is I will change this color to something else. Ooh, that's nice. What I'll do is I'm going to say, show me the line and that draws a line between these points. And then I'm going to turn off my points and I have a nice isochrome line. Doesn't fit it really well, but what I want to do is see if I can find an isochrome that fits better. So it looks like, based on where the main sequence turnoff is, that it is going to be sitting a little bit uh, maybe older than the 8.5 that I picked. Moreover, the uh, main sequence is sitting a little bit above or more likely cooler than the value that I am looking at here. So metallicity is going to affect the surface temperature of the star. So I actually think that since it should be a little cooler uh, here, I'm going to go in here and see if I can grab the same isochrone, but for a plus 0.5 dex uh, metallicity. And then I go and I will repeat that process. I'll drag in that isochrone. I have to link it do some gluing. So I'm going to glue that. Oh, oops, sorry, I should show you the link editor. I'll click that and that to establish a link between these two data sets. And then I will glue the BP and the absolute magnitudes together and glue. And then I will go, okay, that's done. And then I can pop that isochrone in. Oops, all right have failed at a link. So if it gives me this error, cannot visualize, that means my link has not gone correctly. So I got that, EPRP. Oh, I've glued Parallax to Gaia DR2. I don't like that link. Uh, instead, I'm gonna glue MG to Gaia G DR2. Glue those attributes. <gasps> now I got a link. Ooh, this is looking better. So I'll do the same thing uh, to help my poor, terrible eyeballs. I'll make those data points blue. I'll put on a line. I'll turn off the points. Oh, we're getting good. So right now we're going through the main sequence. It's not quite perfect. The missed people do good work, but maybe not. Uh, maybe it could be improved. And so I can say, well, this looks good. Could I do any better? And if I guessed anything, there's just a few stars up here that are sitting above the main sequence. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to try the same metallicity. I like that metallicity because it goes right through my main sequence here pretty well. Uh, so what I need to do is I'm going to try a 9. Point, ooh, a 9. All those are 8.5. So I'm going to drop that one in. Uh, okay. Yeah, we've got ourselves an isochrome. Got to go do some gluing. Uh, so we'll go Heidi's data and we'll glue it to the 9 gig year data. I will establish BPRP, glue those data, MG, uh, glue those data. And so I have the link again. I can uh, drop those on. Oh, maybe that's a little, looks like a bridge too far. So let's see here. I'll go ahead and make that a, a line, turn off the points. Yeah, so I think I did pretty well on my second shot here. Um, and I think that this age is probably somewhere between 8.5 and 9. Really, I'm just asking you in this problem to kind of find the best agreeing isochrone with the cluster data that you have selected. So this should give you a sense. And so the answer is I would take away everything. Boop, boop, boop. And now the data and show a plot that looks a little like this. Now, you might be asking, uh, why did I stop there? Why didn't I choose a different kind of metallicity uh, option uh, or, and a different age? Uh, I probably should, just for completeness, illustrate what will happen if I picked an older solar metallicity cluster, so the 9.0 uh, FE over H of zero. Uh, let's toss that in there. Uh, glue the data. There's a way to do this faster and more efficiently. But in this case, I think we aren't going to do it that much. So uh, sophistication is going to be inferior to expediency. Uh, drop that on. Ah, interesting. So let's shut off all our other isochrome. Oh, sorry, that's the one I want. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do some color changes. Ooh, 
was mocha maybe uh turn oh there we go uh and so what you can see is that an older solar metallicity actually goes through the turnoff pretty well and hooks up through here but does a very bad job of agreeing with the main sequence here so remember we do want to use the main sequence to kind of calibrate what our metallicity should be and then we'll use the turnoff for those points uh to um figure out what the uh best age is so use the main sequence for metallicity and then use the turn off to uh from the age so that should give you what you need to do to solve this problem again pick a cluster of your choice choose something that excites you and then uh, or at least is the first one on the list and then you can uh upload uh this image as you, that the equivalent of this image as your uh homework submission okay that's all we got